The case in point of discussion here would be a cup and a saucer. So today we are going to learn how to create a cup and saucer in Maya using basic tools and techniques. This is the reference image that I am going to use to create the model. So when modeling any subject, you should really be thinking about the basic form that the subject has. In this case, the cup is actually nothing but a cylinder and same goes for the saucer as well. So I'm going to take the cylinder from the polygonal primitives and start creating. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is that the handle of the cup is going to come out right from the middle of the cup. Therefore, when adding the subdivisions in the vertical axis, we need to keep in mind that the number 8 would give us a perfect cylinder. However, if you try to divide the number 8 in equal, you would actually get 4 on each side. That would leave me with nothing to add the handle to. So, I'm going to add the subdivisions in the multiples of 8 and then add one more division to it. For example, if I'm using 24, that is 8 times 3 equals 24. I'm going to add one more to it which makes it 25, leaving me with space to add the handle right in the middle of the cup. Now let's move the entire geometry to the center of the scene and snap to 0, 0, 0 coordinates. I'm using the V key on the keyboard as the shortcut to snap. Now let's go to the face mode and select the top face and delete it. Let's give it some thickness. Press the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl E on Windows and Command E on Mac to extrude the thickness of the cup. Use the offset to give that little boundary on the edge of the cup. Press the 3 key on your keyboard to check the smooth preview of your model. Go to the top view and select and find out the portion where you want the handles to come out from. Now let's go into the face mode and select the face from which the handle needs to come out. Again using the extrude start creating the handle. I'm using the scale cubes here which appear on the gizmo to adjust the proportion of the handle. Go to the edge mode, double click on the edge loop to select the edge ring and hold down control key on your keyboard and hit delete. Whenever we are trying to delete any edge loops using your control key along with the delete button will ensure that no stray vertices are left over. Using the shift right click, reach out to the option which says insert edge loop. We are going to be inserting few edge loops here so as to make space for the inner portion of the handle. Again, switch to the face mode, drag select the relevant faces and delete them. Use the three key on your keyboard to smooth out the entire geometry. And let's examine the output. With the edges still selected, shift right click and select the option that says bridge. Use the properties to customize the look. To give that little curve on the handle, let's go to the vertex mode and using the move tool, adjust its position to suit the design. While still in the vertex mode, select the outer vertices and scale them down in the x-axis to match the proportion. Now if you look closely, the point where the handle joins the body of the cup, that transition is too hard for me here. 
So I would like to remove that edge loop completely so that the transition from the handle to the cup body is much more smoother. Now let's adjust the base of the cup. I find it very smooth right now. So let's insert an edge loop here. We are done with the cup here. Now for the saucer, it's going to be a very simple model. We're going to take a cylinder again, adjust the radius, add subdivisions and align it to the base of the cup. Now select the border edges, pull them up in the Y axis. This is going to give us the basic shape of the saucer. Here on, it's just going to be a matter of adding some edge loops on the border edges to give it that rounded form. Similarly, add some edge loops to the bottom of the saucer. This is going to give us a solid base upon which the cup can be placed. Similarly, add an edge loop to the bottom side of the saucer to give it a firm base. And there we have our completed cup and saucer. So I hope you've learned something new today. I want you to try this out on your own and see if you can create a cup and saucer using the techniques discussed here.